you mentioned the tragedies, and in the first 10 seconds, we see Nipsey. Yeah. And so take me through why it was important for you to include him, especially in the opening, just right away. Yeah, well, you know, me and Nipsey was close. And uh, I showed him how to do a lot of things. And he just had a good spirit. And he loved this community. And I felt like we should have been celebrating him. You know, he didn't got so many flowers now that he's not here. I remember sitting in the car with him, his first at the same album that went quadruple platinum now, and he made it to uh, the best male album of the year on BET this year. Uh, that was the same album came out two years ago that only sold 52,000 copies. And I hear people say, this is an amazing record. I'm like, that's the same record we had two years ago. So... It's crazy how it takes a tragedy for people to recognize how talented you are. And I just like, that was my boy. So I knew his heart. We probably made like 17 songs together. We got in the studio, the magic just happened. So um, I felt like the world needed to know that he needed to be celebrated a long time ago. And that's, that was our thing was, because he knew he had an amazing record two years ago. So he was like, well, why this not taking off? What's the problem? And then you come back now, this record is incredible. You hear people say, man, I, Nipsey, that's the best record I heard. I'm like, that record was out two years ago. <laughs> you know, so, but he definitely getting his just due now. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of, you know, what people really see and know who he, who he was. So, yeah, we made a lot of great music. You gonna be able to listen to the music on the soundtrack. I got the hook up too. Me and Jeezy got a record. The Ice Cream Man and the Snowman. So it's gonna be a cold summer. That's the only thing I can say. It's gonna be a cold summer.